Welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. I'm your host, Los, the host with the most, and the host. Okay, you you fucked I'm, up. I'm close, aka Public Enemy Fifty Nine. Right across from me, we got uh, JP, aka uh, Linkster One Hundred and One. Yes, sir. Back and in the, the game. And the man behind the magic of it all, we got Eli, aka JRX. What's up? Four X. Follow him on Twitch. <laughs> All right, we got a jam-packed show this week. A lot of news coming at you, so we're fuck it, gonna get right to it. That's gonna twat. We're gonna start with gaming. <laughs> Game over. This week, we got officially official news. It's from probably Sony. the biggest news out of this whole podcast. Official news: up. the PS5 has officially been named the PS5. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. No surprise yeah. there. Uh, you know, uh, confirmed, released, holiday 2020. We got some specs that have been confirmed for the PlayStation 5. Uh, first thing I want to mention is haptic feedback. It's going to be now included in their controller. Supposedly, now this is uh, from the Wired article. Uh, these guys had, uh, had the haptic feedback ready. In time for the PS4 Pro, but decided to not, you know, uh, split the gamer base. You know, they talked about including it, but they decided not to. So now it's going to be included with the PS5 controllers. Haptic feedback. So this is like, uh, you know, fuck HD rumble on the Switch. This is on another level. The next gen. How is that like? Hey, man, don't tell me, man. (laughs) I'm just like, how is that? Okay. like I'm just literally looking. Okay. Your point? All right. Yeah, that's how you feel. Uh, what do you think, jerks? Uh, he's all right. Can't wait to try it out. See how it is. Uh, like I said. What? Do you got the specs on there? Uh, it doesn't have it on here. Let me see no? if I can find it. Because I did see that they released specific specs on what they're going to have. Now, I don't know how to, what that shit translates to, to be honest. I but mean, I was I, wondering if you, Eli, like, could give us some idea I wonder of what, what, they, what that looks like. They, what they mean by holiday 2020, they mean next next year on Thanksgiving, I'm assuming. Yeah, right. November, most November. likely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then then that means for sure, for sure. Then you hit Black Friday. No, you don't give out discounts, but it's on. You know, it's able to be purchased for Black Friday. Uh, you come out with... Your big, whatever your flagship game is, which as of right now, they haven't really released any games. They've only said that PS4 games will be backwards compatible with the PS5. So any games you have with the PS4. So, because you know what I was going to do, like straight up? I was going to buy Final Fantasy VII, the remake, and I was going to borrow a PS4, and then I'll just buy a PS5. (laughs) So if it's backwards compatible, I don't lose shit. (laughs) <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you, that's something you can ter- certainly do. Um, so I can't find like the, all the specifics. I mean, it's all there, worded, but it's all like in like in the sentences. Mm, okay. But you remember that that concept of the PS Five that we saw that looked like a V? Yeah, correct. Well, apparently that is real, but that's that's what's being shipped out to the developers right oh, now. Oh, so that's the uh, the developer. Okay. Uh, that's the, the developer kit. Yeah, developer yes. kit. Yeah. Um, so it's a V shaped. Well, yeah, but that's not that's final not, that's design. That's not the final design. It's it's what they're using right now until they finalize their design. Yeah, that that thing is ugly. Yeah, that thing like, does look ugly. It is an ugly developer kit. But thank God it's just that. It's just a developer. <laughs> but you don't kit. know that. The, um, it's happened before where they said it was developer kit. It so wasn't. it was actually like, Xbox mm. is also coming out with. You know, with whatever their... Scarlet. Project yeah. Scarlet. Project Scarlet's coming out. So it's going to come out next year, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And rumors <laughs> are that with Switch is going to combat that by putting out Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild yeah, 2. Too. Which is going to be a good seller. It's a good way to, to keep your market up. Okay, I mean, it, buy it. the only reason, to be honest, I'm going in on a new console day one is what games are you going to have on there? Well, I mean, for me... <clears throat> For me, regardless of what games I have on there, I'm going to. I'm basically gonna to have to save up a thousand two hundred because I'm gonna buy the PS5 and I'm gonna to have to buy the. Xbox. Yeah, that's what I did too. With, with, when those first systems came out, I bought all of them. I, I just didn't care about. The yeah, games and, yet. and and you know, for the most part, I've been in the same vein. Uh, get buying my systems day one, but I did that for the PS. Uh, 
for the you did it for the PS4. You fucked up. You were like, no, no, no. I, I bought a PS4 for Destiny, and that was a great decision in my opinion. But that that, that white one didn't come out until like after launch. After launch. well, launch. yeah, I had the the original PS4. And then I got a PS4 with, Pro yeah. with Destiny Two. Right. So those were the two reasons I bought both of those systems was right. Destiny. Destiny Two was fun. Anyways, oh, yeah. um, I did a raid last night. Oh, how how do you okay talk about it? If you played it, uh, that, that's in the segment later on. But uh, I don't, unless there's something enticing for me that releases exactly. with the system, I'll hold on. I, I agree. But the thing is, you know the best that you know PS4 or PS5 is going to come out with their games later on. Xbox same thing. They only really have like Look, one game when it first comes. I'm out. I'm still kind of I recovering mean, from the PS3 launch where the system was six hundred dollars. I bought in, and soon after, there were price drops. Well, that's like that with everybody because... It's, no, it, if look, the system look, does I, well, there the are no is, price The thing is, do you drops. want it first or not? And that's it's based all on consumers. If we weren't like that, you know, because it's all based on mass production. And I think with PS5 and Xbox, with whatever project they come out with, they're going to sell well. They know they're going to sell well. Um, they'll come out like they always have with a Call of Duty PlayStation or Call of Duty Xbox or uh, or yeah, you yeah, know bundles. so bundles so I'm not really worried about it I'm gonna get it I have to get PS5 I'm just glad it's backwards compatible because I was gonna yeah. that way I can just buy uh, PS4 games uh, and, uh, yeah and then yeah. just play so you know well I'm excited None yeah I'm excited it's, too it's a new generation it's gonna start because that means Xbox gonna come it. back firing we're gonna firing. be covering all 2020 on this show so I'm excited for it uh, am I gonna, I'm just not sure I mean shit if they announce. Some fucking badass game day one, Xbox or PS5. Well, I know Halo's gonna be. I'm in. Ha- Halo, yeah. Halo, it's gonna be see, great. So right I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it. Halo Inf- Infinite. <laughs> that right there. Yeah, I'm gonna buy now, it. I want to see more, but most likely, hell yeah, day one, I'm buying. And that I, it shit. wouldn't surprise yeah. me if they have Last of Us remastered for PS5, the two. Uh, um, yeah, last. You know. No, uh, and a lot of these games that are coming out. Um, it seems like this 2020. Uh, it seems like. I predict that they'll have like an upscaled version for PS Five. Mm-hmm. Um, but this, it's the same thing with Xbox too, man. It's just this is just it's just, just it's business, bro. It's all yeah. about it's, it's all, all about, about that Benjamin. It's all about that paper. Mm-hmm. All right. In other news, uh, Doom Eternal that was slated to come out yes. at the end of this year has been delayed to March twenty twenty. Yeah. Same day Animal Crossing releases. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. good. So that way oh. nobody buys it. Rest in peace, Doom. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Rest in peace. Okay. 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 No one's going to yeah. buy that. Yeah, I really doubt that. Play that I really fucking doubt that. But, uh, First off, I'm kind of glad you did that, fo- though. You heard it here first. The what? You heard it here first. <laughs> no, no. There's no way. So I, I'm glad they did Animal that. Animal Crossing is beating Doom. <laughs> so. Yeah, okay. I'm glad they did that simply because of the fact that it looked like a good game already. Yeah, now they it, can just it go looks back solid. and work on the mechanics. Maybe make things a little yeah, bit more Yeah, more time to make difficult. it better. I have no qualms with it. My only problem is that it's going to be on the same day that Animal Crossing is out. Yeah. Obviously, I'm buying Animal Crossing, so I'm sorry, Doom. Uh, but, uh... Uh, yeah, and then they also announced that the Switch version is going to come out later yeah. than that date. So but the graphics are not going to be as good. So it's Either way, it wasn't, but... But I, was, I feel like games... See, I feel like this is a good step in the right direction. If games do this, mm-hmm. if, if people want to... Like, for example, if they would have done this with Anthem... They say, hey, you know what? Yeah. We have to wait about two more years. Sorry about nah, that, guys. Nah, like six more months. Six more months. Right? I would have been okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because you're just bringing a better product that people mm-hmm. are excited about and making it better. And, and now it probably would have ended up better, better for them in yeah, the long run. Exactly. The game is right now selling for like 20 bucks, I think. Mm-hmm. Less oh, than that. It should be $2, dog. <laughs> so so the be, game is selling for game, $20. That game should be at the dollar store, y'all. This guy. <laughs> That's how trash <laughs> that game is, bro. But, uh, th- you know, this would be. I hope other games learn from this. Where hey, we're producing this game. We're trying to we're trying to honor you guys. You guys are paying a lot of money. Let us do the work. Don't rush us. Let us create a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. I, I, matter of fact, I bet you anything, Doom is gonna knock the crap out of Animal Crossing. Like, you heard it here, down. folks. You heard it I'm here ready. First. I'm ready to put a wager on the show. Right now. <laughs> on more more Doom is selling across all platforms. So that you have an advantage. Animal Crossing is a one system. Yeah. And I bet you Animal yeah, Crossing. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. How about this? I bet you that. I bet you that light switch. Oh. 
So what? For two hundred dollars in cash? What was the? I'll give you two hundred dollars in cash. That's how much it costs. <laughs> nah, nah. It's That's two hundred dollars. It's used. This ain't GameStop, bro. You know you don't it's like used. to pay his bets. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I bet you. I'll, I'll bet you some cash. Nah, nah. we'll talk. We'll talk nah, about it. Nah, nah, I want it on camera. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> move along, bitch. Move along. All right. Uh, next, uh, we got okay. Some dumb drama by Blizzard. It, okay, so this is how it goes. Because they right? have, because they're having an event. Okay, they had an event. Uh, Blitz Chung, a Chinese player. Pro Hearthstone. Pro Hearthstone Master player, Stone. right? Wants a lot of money on the tournament. Yeah. He gets interviewed, and it, it, the translation kind of reads that, you know, uh, I stand with Hong Kong. This is the revolution of our lives. Of right? our generation, He's, yeah. Of our gen- oh, revolution of our generation. And this so, gaming is big over there. Like, so huge. this guy is straight up supporting the Hong Kong protests. Yeah. Right? That's going on in China. If you don't know what that is, I'm not about to go into it. You go look it up. You don't know much either. No one really knows much either. So. <laughs> well, I do know about it. I know some about it. I mean, Hong Kong is autonomous. Well, Chinese, it's not really Chinese. held. It's communism. To the same. It's communism, bro. It's not held to, held to the same standards that the rest of China is. They're kind of, <laughs> there's a lot more freedom in Hong Kong, and that's the way it's been, and that's the way it is. And now the government's trying to like take that freedom away in the Hong Kong's protest. Right. So... TLDR. Uh, <laughs> but Hong Kong has always been here for many years. It's not new. They've been free. It's kind of been known. If you're in Hong Kong, you're fucking But they free. were like a British colony, something like that, right? Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. The point is... A- anyways, <laughs> Blizzard went ahead and banned this guy for a year from took, our tournament. Took all his money. Took all his winnings from the, from the tournament. And, and the, then... And the band of casters. The casters that <laughs> asked him the questions... <laughs> They banned them, so... But Blizzard's not from China. No, that, but they... They have, they have 5% ownership by Tencent, who Tencent, is a Chinese the, com- the company. The largest Chinese company. Tencent isn't everything, man. Owns, has their stake in everything. They, their market is huge in China. Oh, wow. Right? So right away, Blizzard put, uh, banned these fools. The community banded behind these people, the, yeah. the, the player and the casters, and... Uh, started uh, to protest Blizzard. Yeah. So people get uh, like cancel their subscriptions. To wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, started talking mess to Blizzard. If only we could do this for DLCs, guys. <laughs> yeah. If only we could do that. Uh, you know, uh, it was trending on Twitter. Protest uh, Blizzard, something yeah. like that. Bad yeah. Blizzard, whatever. Uh, Blizzard finally put out a statement and said. Uh, you know, they lessened the, the, the charges against the player, so he was only banned for six months. They six gave months. him back some of his winnings. Some? Some. Bitch! <laughs> some of his winnings, not all of it. And then they uh, went on to send out a statement saying this has nothing to do... With China. With Hong China. Kong. Then they released a statement in China saying the complete opposite. In the statement in China, which someone translated, it reads more like... You know, we stand with our chi- our Chinese people, our Chinese government is what the it's statement they It's all about the money, man. In in China, so uh, it just looks totally bad for Blizzard. No good faith right now by the consumers. Everybody, American consumers. everybody's like trying to make uh, uh, May from Overwatch uh, like uh, Chinese. No, she is Chinese, like a character in, in the game. But they're trying to make her like the. Uh, like the protester now, like they're the, drawn the her poster, the poster for the protest, for the, for the oh, protest. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. And so then on top of that, um, what was it? Um, what else happened? They, oh, there was other pro players too, uh, standing up with uh, Blitzchung, and um, some there was other casters from I believe Hearthstone, 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 <laughs> Hearthstone. Uh, also stepping down as casters because of protests, and they had a walkout in Blizzard's. Uh, uh, offices. The Blizzard employees who, yeah. I mean, that's an American-based company. That's an American-based company. Now they're international. That seems to be like bending to the will of Hong Kong. Of China. Of China. Yeah, China. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, hey, man. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy, man. Madness. Hey. And there's a reason why I have this story right behind the other one, too. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. I, I, think, <laughs> uh, I, I think that's very cool how gamers... You know, band together. United, yeah. But they would, if all the, I mean, that's a good cause, I would say. Uh, I don't know nothing about China. I mean, basically, they're just communists. I mean, they're communists, but we know that. 
I mean, so it's not yeah. a big deal to me. As far as that, not that the whole plight or whatever. I'm just saying, like, they're communists. What do you expect? Yeah, but, I uh, mean, I, and suppose, you know, Blizzard's uh, yeah. values, you know, every, every company has their yeah. values. It's on there, it specifically says everybody's voice matters. Well, and this guy's now you know, out, but see, the, you and guys. And they ban the guy. I gamers mean, act like, and this is my thing, like, with, with the new generation in general and this new uh, uh, leftist uh, way of thinking, you act like this is brand new. Like, mm -hmm. this, is, this has been going on for decades. Like, China no, yeah. is China. Mm -hmm. uh, China will stifle China. It's their people. Yeah, but we look the other way because... No, cause yeah, but money. now you guys know no, no, that no. M when money's involved, mm -hmm. in anywhere, 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 it's not just, anywhere, it's not just here, anywhere, it's anywhere, anywhere. anywhere. America, Britain, Russia, Britain, uh, it, Russia <laughs> Germany, anywhere money's involved, you will see the truth of people. Pe people Ukraine. These companies are not out for, <laughs> these companies are not out for you <clears throat> or for me. They're out for no, and that's why winnings, their shares. That's their why I'm glad that so. these... Uh, you if know, only you motherfuckers would actually do. Then the thing is, uh, the reason I'm not really like uh, because you motherfuckers don't do that for DLCs. You motherfuckers <laughs> should have done that shit fucking a long time ago. DLCs would have stopped being created. But no, you motherfuckers want to do this for this. It's a good My cause. Thing, but DLCs, banning DLCs is another good cause too. I'm glad that the players are stepping up and showing That's with cute. money yeah. that they're not gonna support Blizzard anymore. And Blizzard has. Semi gone back of what they've done. No, because honestly, that's the thing. What a lot of people don't understand, and I've been bitching on this since the show started. If the gamers band together, you can create your own movement. You literally force Blizzard to change their mind. Semi. 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 No, and you can still can. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you one thing players are not going to be playing Overwatch as much. I'll tell you this. I'm as uh, someone who doesn't really play Blizzard. Games, I don't play Blizzard games. I don't. Even I mean, want to I wish now. I could, I, and I could cancel my shit. Bro, but. I love Overwatch, and I might have to uninstall just to be in protest. And see, and that's the thing. Like little small things like that. If a lot of people do them, it affects the company. Yeah, if and you stop buying their games. If you stop purchasing things on their applications, like you can, we as a gaming community, we can stop that. And I've been bitching and, about that. Since the beginning of these, this podcast was created. And that leads us to our next uh, next segment of the show, sports. Sports. Ah! Touchdown. Woo! It's a home run. Goal. Sports. 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 Space sports. Space sports. sports. All right. That leads us to our next topic of the show. Rockets GM. Oh, speaking of China. <laughs> went ahead and. Uh, and see, this gets me mad. Oh, oh, this gets, it. This gets, gets it. it. Oh, but the other China thing. No, no, no this China thing. thing. No, because that's China. You know what I'm saying? No, Blizzard is American. So, NBA so is me, American. So let me explain. So they both bend me back. So hold on. So let me explain. <laughs> so Daryl Morey, the general manager of the Rockets, puts out a video. I agree. Puts out a video because we're in a goddamn America, and you can say whatever the fuck you want, no, put whatever the fuck that, you want, Twitter. and do uh, and do whatever you want. A Twitter, because uh, you're, Twitter uh, picture. It doesn't matter. You're in America. Yeah. So on Twitter, he tweeted uh, so uh, tweeted out support, I support for, the, for the Hong Kong, Kong protesters. Okay. Yes. So the big backlash from China. They're banning shit, stopping games, not promoting this, and then the NBA. Since no, 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 wait, 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 wait. you're like skipping uh, way too ahead. Right it wasn't Tell the owner. Wait, wait, no, wait. First yes. the, the, the owner, owner <laughs> Rockets owner, first tweet, 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 tweet it back. Fertita, I don't know. Whatever. What's his name? Fertita, Fertita, whatever. Fertita. Fertita. <laughs> the guy who owns Magic Shifu, dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he tweeted out. Um, you know, uh, okay, Tillman Fertitta. Fertitta? Fertitta. Yeah, Fertitta. Fertitta. Listen Fertitta, Listen yeah. at Dara Mori does not speak for the Houston Rockets or presence Right in away. It is all, uh, all about promotion of the NBA internationally, and we are not political organization at ESPN. And then the NBA. Se metió también. I mean, so they no, got into it and too. And right after this, Dara Mori yeah. tweeted, I did not intend my tweet. Uh, this is his tweet. Uh, I did not intend my tweet to cause any offense to the Rockets fans and friends of mine in China. I was merely voicing one thought based on the one interpretation interpretation of the complicated event. I have a, a lot of opportunities since that tweet to hear and consider other perspectives. Uh, that's one of two. And the second part is I've always appreciated and the significant, significant support uh, our Chinese fans and sponsors have provided, and I hope that those who are upset but will see, know yeah, they're offending like or misunderstanding new, them was not my intention. My tweets Even are on my own, in my way, do not represent the Rockets or the NBA. Yeah, I mean, okay, 
first off, the reason why they're the because if it was another team, he's fucking it'd be with the different. bag. But since Yao Ming <laughs> was involved with the Rockets, a lot of Chinese fans are in with the Rockets in China. Uh, Allen Iverson goes over there. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of basketball players, Dwayne Wade, they're really huge up there. They love their basketball over there, understandably so. Um, but now we know that money money counts, dude. And they lost my a big problem, market. My problem is American companies, NBA included in this, Bending over backwards. Like exactly. Jerseys. But it's because it's money. Dude, uh, hey, man. Where's Nike? And, and, hey, Nike. You know, and, and you hey, know Nike. what? Why don't you put some, some you know Colin what? Kaepernick ads over there, dog? Exactly. It's Please. all money. Show me. It's Show all me. money. Don't talk. Show it's me. It's all money. Show me. It's all money. So, therefore, the consumer should speak. Hey, man. With Colin money. Kaepernick should walk up from his, oh, from but, his 63 million and go protest no. in China in movement where it really counts. See, that's the thing that I, that I see here. I see a lot of Americans that talk a lot of shit, but they don't go where it matters. I hear feminists talk a lot of shit, but they don't go to the Middle East. I see a lot of people talk shit about how everyone should have their, their equal rights, but I don't see them go to China and protest. All I see is people talk shit. No, I what see people about? throwing a fit. That's saying. Just I saying. No, you're not making any Nike. sense. Hey, Nike, no. I want to see it. Nike, you have that's your sweatshops in China. Nike has sweatshops in yeah, China. I don't go buy Nike fucking stuff. support. Don't buy their stuff. I don't. Don't watch the football game. I don't. Don't watch the NFL. Uh, hey, the NFL. Don't watch the NFL. Hey, the NFL. Don't, don't watch the buy their NFL. jerseys. Don't, don't watch buy the NFL. NFL. Simple as that. I can don't still watch, watch the NFL. NFL. I love the NFL. NFL is American based. Their, their yeah. product, American their product based. Yeah. on those players is an advertisement every time you're watching it. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, NBA is more don't Chinese based. I disagree. I disagree. I, I don't know. Because they don't be like college. It's not like college. Next, uh, next on the uh, on sports, we got baseball playoffs. So real quick, uh, we got the playoffs going on in baseball. Uh, in the uh, American League, we got the New York Yankees beating the Minnesota Twins. They moved on. We got the Houston Astros Woo. barely eking out a win on Game Five to move uh, to move on. Will be facing the Yankees. As of this recording, game one hasn't happened. At the time of this showing, there have been two games going on. So, mm-hmm. uh, who knows what's going to happen there? On the other end, in the NL, we got um, St. Louis beating out Atlanta in a game five. We got the Washington Nationals beating the LA Dodgers, who were, supp- who were supposed to be Did winning. Did they the pay NL. that pitcher like a shit of fucking money? Uh, yeah, LA's Kershaw, made a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, Kershaw, 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 who went in and gave up the tying runs in game uh, five. Yeah, I saw videos on Twitter where they were throwing <laughs> their jerseys. Yeah, people <laughs> throwing their Kershaw jerseys on the field because this is the guy you. His thing has always been not being able to clutch, and postseason after postseason, the whole, he has great regular seasons like Cam Newton when he's in the <laughs> when he's in the postseason. The man cannot clutch like Dak Prescott. <laughs> So there he goes again, giving the ball with a three, uh, what was it, three runs, no, two run lead, and again, like gives, 20, up, gives up two back-to-back home runs to tie the game. Like Tony Roman when he gave those two interceptions? The Nationals go to extra innings, <laughs> end up hitting a, um, uh, a grand slam <coughs> to go ahead and finish out the game. And beat the Dodgers, who had high expectations, going have been to the World Series the past two years, have lost. One of them was to the Astros. Uh, and we're hoping to get back this year. This was supposedly their year. They had an MVP candidate in their squad. Uh, Kershaw, J- Joe Kelly, one of the best closers, gave up the Grand Slam. Just disastrous for the L.A. Dodgers. Disastrous. Terrible. To the, congrats to the Nationals, who have now moved on and are facing the St. Louis. Game one of that has happened after this recording. Nationals won in St. Louis. So they are up 1-0. They took one in St. Louis. Uh, really, so it looks to be competitive. In the end, I got the Nationals moving on to the World Series. Yankees and Astros, I got the Astros moving over. Of course. It is going to be tough. <laughs> the Yankees hitting is pretty good, but I feel the Astros pitching is a little bit better. So I got the Astros against the Washington Nationals. Uh, you know, uh, Astros against America team. Well, they're not really America's team, but... Bro, I don't know. I don't watch baseball, so... Uh, but they're the Washington Nationals. You I don't know, watch they're based over Baseball there, so. died in 2005. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Tell us what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, next in sports, 
uh, to end it off, we wanted to have a little conversation, a civil conversation, <laughs> about Baker Mayfield. Yeah, all that shit talking. Was he overhyped? I was one of those people that was super hyped about Baker. And Choo-choo. I was the one that said, hop on that bandwagon. Um, and I have to say now that those expectations well, uh, well, let's hold off on down. it. Let, let, let's hold off on it. cannot throw a ball downfield. And I've seen it. He it's doesn't have an offensive line. He doesn't have an offensive dinkin line. Dinking and dacking. He, he has a dink and dack. But, I mean, keep in mind that he doesn't have an offensive line that Dad Prescott got. got, got um, he has OBJ. He has OBJ. Yeah. He has wide receivers. But <laughs> he has really Chubbs. <laughs> But you have Landry. You can't. You, have, uh, and, and you Deco, can't throw. And Deshaun uh, I mean, Watson. Deshaun Watson knows this more than anybody. You can't really be successful without an offensive line. But he throws but he's the been ball successful. down the field. Deshaun has been successful yeah. without a good offensive yeah, line. Yeah. Then he was yeah. bleeding from his lungs too. I don't think Baker Mayfield wants to collapse. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> but hey, but he throws him. Couldn't get on the plane. Yeah, he couldn't get on the plane. So <laughs> I'm okay with. He couldn't get on the plane with so, a collapse. <laughs> uh, Baker Mayfield has been struggling this year, but I don't think it's all on him. I think a lot of it's play calling. Um, I think that coach does not deserve to be a head coach. He's a good quarterbacks coach like he was before, but I, I just don't see, I don't see the talent from the head coach. But then again, I don't see talent. From no, no, no. Coach I either. don't see the team being that well stocked defensively. They're fucking good, and they're missing their cornerbacks. They're main. So when they come back, they're gonna be loaded defensively. I think, I think so. Just like Baker, just, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. Okay. Well, do you think that he's gonna turn it around? Can he turn it around? I think he will. I think he's a right now he's an average quarterback because of his offensive line. Keep in mind he's only like five foot eleven. Um, I mean, Grant, true, the guys not. Look at but look at Russell Russell uh, Wilson. He's running for his life and he's taking hits after hits and he's throwing the ball. And he's down an MVP and, candidate. Yeah, I, I agree, and um, I, I don't. So Baker, although I think Baker, uh, Baker my, is six one. Baker six one. Yeah. Well, I thought he was, no, they, 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 they were uh, high I he's think, 11, bro. I think, uh, yeah, six foot. Yeah, maybe, maybe six foot. Um, he's, he's not, because he's not, if, you, if you look at the size of him and Russell Westbrook, I think they're about the exact same height. Because Russell Westbrook is like considered six, but he's actually 5'11". No. Well, who knows? Well, I don't know. I, I think he can turn it around. Because look, man. I don't know, man. Because look, I, 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 I if can. If you can't Eli Manning, if you can't Eli Manning, points, Eli Manning was just like this, and Eli Manning Russell is, Wilson. Yeah. You said Westbrook. Oh, okay, it's just the same shit. <laughs> and he is 5'11". Yeah, he is 5'11". <laughs> That's what well, look, I, I, all I got to say is this. You know, Eli Manning, everyone used to hate on him, and he's Tom Brady's daddy. Um, beat him twice. Um, so, there's there's there. I, I know Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, who's the guy that, that won with Tampa Bay? What's his name? <laughs> the quarterback? Oh, uh, that was... Bradshaw or Bradford? Or what was his name? Uh, uh, the one that won with Tampa Bay in 2002. It was shitty ass. Uh, Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we know quarterbacks can win Super Bowls. Look, I don't Surrounded think, by the right pieces. I think Baker has, has shown <laughs> that, man, he's not comfortable. You know who he reminds me of? There. He reminds me of Jeff Garcia. No, no. Jeff Garcia could. Because Jeff Garcia was trash at first. Yeah. Look, uh, man, he's trash. He ain't going to be good. Sorry. Move on I have hope next. because I really like Cleveland. They, their fans have I suffered think, I think people enough. only really like him because he's a handsome man. I don't know about all that. that I like has, his wife. That has something to do with it. I, I, I was rooting him because I hate uh, Ka- Collinsworth, how he's always talking shit yeah. about Baker Mayfield. It's and I'm like, wrong. yeah, now it kind of seems like he was right. Well, I mean, look um, – I don't get it because last year Baker Mayfield was playing at lights out. Like, but it's because he, he was, had he had an offensive coordinator, an actual offensive coordinator, not a quarterback's head coach, and then he had an actual uh, uh, head coach who knew how to call plays, which was the guy who from Pounding Gate. Uh, he was yeah, interim who head coach. you fucker said shouldn't have, uh, should have gotten fired, and I say he. He shouldn't have. Well, it doesn't matter. The point is, I feel like I show the it's tape. five games in. He, they're two and three. They're not out of the hunt yet. Yeah, uh, Steelers suck ass. Baltimore can't throw. Uh, Cincinnati, <laughs> only five guys. Steelers are on their third quarterback. Yeah, I mean, I mean they have a chance, bro. All right, we'll they see. They have a chance, and right. I feel like they have the talent. I think Baker Mayfield. Mayfield, he just needs to. He sees ghosts, bro. He's like David Carr, bro. Where he's like, oh, I'm gonna give up. No, 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 bro. Take your time. 
analyze the pocket. No one's around you. Take your time. Step in. Yeah, you know, no, step, no, coach. Step in and, you know, throw your ball. Uh, because he runs around a lot, like a lot, way too much where he doesn't uh, have to. Who made fun of him that he always rolls to the right or oh, rolls to uh, the uh, Antonio Brown. Yeah, yeah. He said, keep hey. rolling to the right. Yeah, keep rolling to the right. And it's true. I'm and it's true. Tape, he yeah. rolls to the right. But I tell you what, I tell you, at least he playing. Where you at? Hey, Mr. Oh. Mr. I'm a I'm a okay, the Patriots need to hit me up. They're gonna pay me anyway. Might as well let me work that for is it. looking to settle all the off field stuff. I guess he's about to settle with these cases, and that he's looking to get back into the NFL. Man, I wouldn't touch that dude, man. That dude. I wouldn't cancer. touch it either. Oh, yep, I agree. Cancer, I agree. All right, next thing we're gonna move to pop culture. Pop. pop. Uh, so ooh, I like this one, Joker. Went out uh, and got, uh, it's been uh, reported that on his first weekend, it racked in a whole 93 mil, making it the biggest release for a rated R movie or any movie in an October. Well, I've heard a lot of... I love it. Cause I've, only, this... I've only heard one good review. I've heard what? about five other people say it wasn't that what? good. A lot of people... Bro, 93 million to the other one. I'm just saying, I'm just saying... Uh, n- Watch Ooh, the movie. 93 mil Ooh. says otherwise. Venom. And Venom. It, and it was a solid movie. No. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. Venom was solid. Venom was uh, not solid. Venom, bro. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Venom. It was solid. Venom. Venom. So what? The no. song sucked. No. The, no. the whole movie sucked too. Oh, Venom did not suck. Oh my God. Calling bro. Dr. Anal. And see, this is my point. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> correct. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you guys know from Venom that it's a crappy movie, but it still sold well. Joker was going to sell well regardless. I didn't. I have not seen it. So, from what I have heard, okay. the only so you person seen it. I've heard like from six, seven people, the only person like that likes it is Lowe's. Now <laughs> Lowe's, Lowe's has a track record. Well, there, there's a lot of consumption of like DC movie, Joker. Okay, I'm about to go watch an action movie. Correct. Right, I'm about to go watch. And that's guy. what I heard. I heard it's uh, very kill freaking this slow. And Joker's gonna be crazy funny. No, this is more of a serious tone movie. More of a. More of a grounded version of the Joker in terms of how like he would become the Joker. So I love this movie. The movie is very good. I we gave it a ten out of ten when we did the review. Wow, you guys gave it high praise. Yeah, it's yeah. a really well, good film. Man, I'm gonna have to watch it now. I'm gonna have to. It's, d- it's, it's like the best way I can tell you. It's like when people can uh, like talk about um, Rick and Morty. They're like, you have to have a high IQ to get these jokes. So it's better than uh, um, <laughs> what's that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and. Uh, which one? And um, the original Joker. Well, fuck, what's that Jared movie Leto? called? Oh, no. uh, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. What's that movie called with the rat? Uh, they, they, what? It's, it's, he's an FBI. He's a rat. And uh, uh, oh, Departed. The, the Departed. Departed. It's better than The Departed? No, The Departed. Okay, then. Better. Come on. You can't give it a 10 out of 10. Better than Departed? <laughs> the I Departed is... No, oh, no, hell no. So. Hell no, no. The Party was, was great. It's the Party is one of the best movies of all time that I've ever seen. So you can't give it a 10 out of 10. You could have given it a 9. No, I gave it. I'm but, sticking but with that 10 out of 10. Like I said, I haven't watched it. From what I've heard, a lot of people did not like it. Uh, Los is the only one. Um, I'm the so, only one. Um, oh, well, 90, he has, he 93 has now. mil. 93 mil. Okay, let, let me say <laughs> it for someone who did see the movie. Okay, go Now, on. if you want to go see the review, you could go catch that. Basically, what I love about this figure right here is all the people on the, in media saying, oh, this movie's disturbing, and this movie's that, this is going to cause this, this is going to cause that, and shit happened, and it made 93 fucking million. The uh, biggest release how much did, for an October. How much did Venom make? 80. 80? 80. Oh, come on, Lowe's. No, come on, do, stop, do, it, Lowe's. Hey, stop it, Lowe's. Hey, man. Stop it, Lowe's. I do have I, a friend I hate, that, I hate uh, to see Stop it, it Lowe's. I, I hate to, to see it. Who went to go see Joker, and they told me that they went at 11 in the morning, and there was, already, there was still cops outside, like, like patrolling stuff because of that movie. Mm-hmm. And I was like, really? I didn't see any cops around my area. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, there, there, I heard some people got frisked. Yeah, I heard some areas just have cops, and they were asking uh, around people, the country. Yeah, they were asking people not to come dressed up either as Joker. Yeah, but I and where we're at, nothing happened. I mean, it was chill. Well, I mean, I I, I will I. The mean? vibe that I get, and usually I'm I'm correct what the hell on this. Are you doing with your leg? You know, I can see all. Oh, that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, the vibes that I get with movies, I'm usually accurate with them, um, and I get like an okay vibe with this. So I'll just wait. Um, like for example, when I first went to go see uh, Judge Dredd, the the recent one, uh, I got like I had like a really good vibe. The car, yeah, urban. Yeah, and it was really freaking good. Um, so th- I get a different vibe from Joker. I get like, eh. So I mean, I think watch I think you're later. missing out if you're not seeing this in theaters. To be honest, yeah. compared to a 
you know, whatever inch your TV is, whatever that is. I mean, you still got to find the controller, right? Yeah. yeah. I think, <laughs> I think <laughs> watching, Don't remind my stupid ass dog. I think missing it. In the, while it's in theaters, nah. it's, it's, a, it's a miss. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm okay. But, uh, yeah, congrats to the people who made Joker. DC, yeah. Uh, you know, they did hey, it. Ha- 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 Joaquin, Joaquin did it. Joaquin, 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 Joaquin Phoenix is a great actor, oh, so I don't hate it, on him on that. It's amazing. Uh, related to Joker news, we also have Jared Leto speaking out. Hey, Jared Leto pissed in the mug right now. <laughs> that he, uh, nah, y'all motherfuckers over here can do a fucking movie without me. He felt slighted when it was announced that <coughs> Joaquin uh, Phoenix's uh, Joker was in production. He felt hurt. Do you have that story of Jerks? Um, I mean, a direct quote for him. Really, they really didn't say much about him. He just said that um, when the when it was greenlit, Joker when Joker was greenlit, which cost less than seventy million to make, leaving Jared Leto, who played Joker in Suicide, alienated. And upset by the move. That's pretty much all they really. Said. I mean, I, I don't blame him. You know, they hyped him up, and I think he would have done a great job. I, metal. Look, and a lot of people hate on. I'm sorry, that on, was, this is from Hollywood Reporter. Okay, a lot of people hate on Leto, his Joker. To be honest, Suicide Squad was the bad movie. I think Jerry Leto did a solid. I job think he did a solid as, job as too. Joker. I would have liked to see his version of uh, uh, his own movie. So he, we could emphasize more on that because they kind of like skip real quick on Joker and Suicide Squad. And he, even he said there was a lot of scenes that they deleted that they didn't show of him. So and that he really thought. Were and I thought he was going to be more involved. To yeah, be honest. Exactly. So that's like Suicide Squad. People who did that. That's their problem. The whole witch. Paranormal witch and Suicide Squad. Uh, stupid. She's stupid a terrible terrible actress. actress. She's a model. Just stop hiring models as actresses, please. Please. No, stop. Writing stupid scripts, Martha Whoa. and paranormal witches. Like, what did you say? <laughs> like, make your scripts better, for God's sake. Bro, WB should just sell everything they have on DC and just give it to. I'd rather see Fox take care of that. There is no Fox. It's <laughs> Disney now, remember? Nah. Well, Disney bought their movie stuff. Yeah, not so. Fox no, will no, no longer I, make I, movies. For... I, I feel sorry for Jared Leto. I would have liked his take, uh, but then again, it was that at the moment they cast Ben Affleck, that 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 movie was bound to fail. No, the moment. Oh, well, and now they're doing. We just talked about it last week with the uh, well, the Harley Quinn movie, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey, which so looks, okay. they they I would bother. What would bother me is that okay, I did Suicide Squad with Harley right as Joker. But, and they want to give her her solo movie. But they don't want to give Joker. But they don't want to give me my yeah. like. Because she was she was the biggest like draw there. Because girls, because girls, dog. No, because that that movie she's like the the she's most, hot and, and girls. The bro. most shining thing about that movie was her. Like bro, that that Halloween. To be honest, do you remember how many girls were dressed like Harley Quinn? That's true. There was yeah. like twenty girls. That's exactly. Harley Quinn. exactly. But exactly. that's the only reason exactly. why. But. She is good as Harley Quinn. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. She not, does a solid that's, job. That's as I'm Harley not Quinn. hating. That's I'm why they hating. gave her that movie. Yeah, but to be honest, Suicide Squad. A lot of trash. people did Jerry Little's Joker, Joker yeah. too. They did that whole shit. Yeah, but I mean, who? What was more popular? Because we were there. Harley Quinn. It was Harley Quinn, and it was all. And I was all oh, for it. You wait for Harley Quinn. <laughs> you wait for Harley Quinn. It was like twenty Harley Quinns on the wall. Like what the fuck? I was all for Harley Quinns. Harley Quinns. They all wore like little short shorts or the shirt skirts or this. Woo! Bring it back, baby. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> last story. Uh, you want to lead this, jerks? I'm not too versed on what happened with this. With what? I heard about oh, it. But... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so there oh, was... Okay. Oh, well, no. Go ahead, Leo. Uh, Leo, puta. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, you jerk, know what's jerks. on your mind. Nah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Nah, I want to hear this. Nah, I'll, I'll go after no, you. No, no, Set no. It up. I want to hear it. Go ahead. So, basically, <laughs> well, I was minding my own business. Uh-huh. Checking up on Yahoo during yeah, my yeah, break. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And then there's an interview with Bry Larson. All right. Bry Larson. Brie Larson, Bry Larson, whatever her stupid ass name is. She's gotten on my nerves now. So, anyways, Bry Larson, whatever the fucking name is, uh, she was like, oh yeah, I went to uh, the Marvel executives and I pitched for an all women's Marvel's movie. So, a lot of people were like all excited, mostly females, the dummies. And in my head, I'm like, dude, you think you guys would have learned from Ghostbusters? It was a crappy movie. You guys didn't realize about Ocean's 10 or Ocean's 8? 
<laughs> the all woman cast, like you guys don't sell well. And you cannot tell me it's because of the actors, because in Ocean's 8 or whatever the fuck that is, it was nothing but legit actors. Anne Hathaway was on there. Uh, who else was on there on Ocean's 8 or whatever the fuck? Uh, Sandra Bullock, wasn't she on there too? I don't know, man. Bro, it's like, it's like stop trying to push this agenda. Did you watch that movie? Uh, Ocean's 8? No, bro, I don't watch crappy movies. Okay. I'm just asking. Cause well, it didn't sell well. You, had, you, what was you have an opinion on a movie you didn't no, watch. No, no. Well. Venom sold how much? 80 million, right? How mm-hmm. much did Ocean's 8 sell? I don't know. Okay, and Blockbusters? What? And, and Ghostbusters? And Ghostbusters? and Ghostbusters? Let's pull up the Let's numbers. Let's pull up the numbers. Because I know Venom is a crappy movie. It's, it's, a crappy crappy movie. it's a crappy movie. 80 million. It was a good Venom movie. Uh, box office for Ocean's 8, $297 million. 297 U.S. or international? U.S. international. U.S. Oh, wow. Shit. And Venom? What the fuck? Uh, Venom. 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 Because I know for a fact it's crap. The reason I know it was crap because it was on HBO like two weeks or three weeks later. Venom okay. did box office total $856 Okay. So, like I said. Like Venom. I said. Uh, Venom. 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 Crappy Venom sold out these. So, the, my thing is, it's like I don't think... I, I think this whole is when you push I, I think, agendas. I think the thing is, is that you expect all these movies to be for you because you know the characters, you know the story behind mm-hmm. it. So you take ownership over that. Just like these kids were getting mad about the Call of Duty thing. Like, oh, you're going to separate this thing because this is my game, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, what I'm saying is that these movies are not made for people like you. They're made for other People, they're, well, they the have thing other is, the mar- they're looking for. Okay, that's fine, but then they're gonna they're gonna get low sales. That's what happened with Ghostbusters. But that's not gonna stop. That's why it, the Ghostbusters movies. sold so bad. They're gonna make. They're gonna but make. But they're not one. gonna stop making so, the movies. Though. I mean, um, they, they don't my, have to stop making it, but they're gonna lose. My thing is, in in the comic books, there was like a all woman team, and that's cool. Yeah. Like that, I'm not tripping about that. What I don't like is that is that in the one part in the Avengers that they did. Go, they did show that. Yeah, right? they did show that. They did show that. It. I didn't like it. I thought it was yeah, cheesy. I didn't like it either. It was, I, I felt it was forced. forced. So it, felt forced. It, it was forced. So, yeah, so this it, is forced. No, no, no. If they do a whole movie, you know, I, feel, I don't know. I don't think it'll be forced. The part I didn't like in the Avengers movie, it, it felt cheesy, right? So if that if that's the what they're going for in the in this movie, that's cheesy. It's a cheesy uh, movie. It's pushing stupid shit. But if if it's if it's well done and it makes sense to the story i don't mind it if it's cheesy just like that one scene was from avengers then it's that's where i feel like okay it's like like look like i i gave tomb raider a chance which one uh with angelina Angelina jolie it was was terrible it was terrible it was terrible the recent one the recent one was even terrible uh uh i I tried catwoman <laughs> no, you can't. Terrible. <laughs> Catwoman was actually uh, really awful. It yeah. was terrible. I've given <clears throat> chances to this. Wonder Woman. People hype up Wonder Woman. It was okay. No, Wonder Woman was good. It was okay. Wonder Woman was good. No, it wasn't bad. Captain Marvel it was way was better good. than fucking Venom. Tell you that much. Captain Marvel was good. Captain Marvel You're coming was coming okay. out with a Black Widow. Black Widow, I wouldn't mind seeing. But see, the thing is. When it's, more like a spy thriller kind when it's, of thing. When it's more involved, like it's not being forced, Yeah, I think that's where it's that, changing. And, and I agree with you. If it's just shoving down my throat, yeah. this movie, but if it's well <clears> done... <throat> Correct. If fucking, uh, what's his name, the Kevin, head of Marvel Studios... Kevin Feige. Kevin if Feige. he has his hands all over it and it blends well with the story, if he had, I think it'll be fun. Because I would like to see, <clears throat> uh, you know, the ladies strut their shit, right? Because... You know, the mainly in the uh, Since, uh, the first phase has yeah. been, you know, Iron yeah. Man, Captain America, you know. So, yeah, I don't mind. Well, it. isn't the new Thor well, going to be female? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, so, that's what I... That's speaking what, of numbers, Wonder Woman, 821 million. There you go. Captain Marvel, 1.1 1. 1 billion. There you go. <laughs> yeah, those two movies are good. So, yeah, you showed some examples of leading... Woman movies I mean, that Holly are not Berry good. crap. Uh, who else tried that superhero shit? Uh, who was uh, Eon yeah, but Plus? that was but that who was did the Eon that, Plus was, that was before these movies started really get, like getting traction, like with I, Iron Man. I, I disagree because J Lo did a movie where she was going inside people's mind and she sold that shit like a motherfucker. The cell. 
Whatever the fuck it was. I That's not know. what? <laughs> come on. I what don't are know. you doing? I mean, all right. Uh, you just don't like female led movies. Just say that. Yeah. No. Just say there's it. There's good say movies. It. There's actually good actors. Good like, movies. Like? It's very rare. <laughs> exactly. You don't like They're, very They're rare. not for you. They're very just, rare. Just, just say these movies are not for no, you. It, yeah. it, you don't have see, to bash see, them and the be thing like, is, no, these if are horrible. If they suck, they suck. These if are they terrible. Suck, they suck. Because they I want to uh, uh, I mean, you just don't like them. Because no, we all know they're not no, for bro, you. No, bro. If it suck, they suck. Why can't you just be like, if why they suck, they suck? Exactly. Why can't we? Why do we have to? Answer your own question. It's not for you. If it's for like the 5% of the 90%, bro, if it sucks, it sucks. Answer your own question. It yeah. sucks. Answer but Avengers hasn't movie. come out yet, so you can't say it yeah. sucks. The, the woman female, Avengers. The female one. I, I, re- I don't like Bry Larson as an actor. Just Never so, have. Exactly. Just I don't think... With her... Right. Okay. Why can't you just if leave she it alone? Was such, if she was just... Ba- if she had her own movie. If she was badass. She did have her own movie. Captain yeah. Marvel. Yeah. No, and was, you said it was good. She was so badass. In the actual <laughs> Avengers, why didn't they show her more often? Hey, man. Oh, I that's the way my they point. Because she destroys everybody, so they brought her in at the end of the movie. She, she's an infinity stone or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, yeah. dude. Like she's I like, said, she's just a little bullshit. Avenger, Look, and it, but Read the even, comics, bro. It's not even yeah. the comics. Read the fucking comics. <laughs> she's better than All right. comics. Trust That's me. been our show. But before we go, we're going to go real quickly to what we've been playing. Uh, uh, other than with myself? You know, what have we been playing recently? So I know you've been playing some cool stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, on uh, twitch.tv for <laughs> rx 4 x I've been playing a lot of Apex, got a lot better on that on keyboard and mouse. Uh, started grinding Destiny 2 because we actually did the raid uh, yesterday, which was Friday. Tell me, how was it? It went, good. it went okay. Which uh, raid? Like some, the first, one of the, the earlier one, raids? The first one in the first Leviathan one. raid for okay, Destiny okay. 2. It, it went pretty It's good. basically one. <laughs> but everybody was like fresh. Uh, nobody had done it before. Oh, so, so it, 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 go. it did take us a while to get through it. But we, we're like more than halfway through it. But I had to go to bed. It was like 2 in the morning. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. But they uh, there was talks of like having it like uh, every Friday thing, do a raid. I was like, I don't know about all that. Yeah. <laughs> raids are fun. Raids are fun, especially if you got like a squad of friends. Yeah. Like if you have a squad of friends, it's fun. I, I, and I, you know Destiny 2 is I, free to play right now. Man, I tried. I tried, man. I, what do you mean? I tried. I tr- I you just, downloaded it? You played I have it? the game. Okay. And I just, I can't play it. I can't. Hey, man, I, don't, I, I got all my characters' progression linked across platforms, so I don't mind if you want to help me. They all start off at 750 power level. Yeah, yeah. And so I brought over my stuff from I don't know, PS4 man. It's just, to... It's just, it's, it's a little bit different for me because, like, when, I, when Destiny 1 first came out, like, the experience, the feeling, like, the hype, the what, grinding, like... Uh, uh, alpha with, uh, with not, Jerks, Beta. Like, oh, yeah. Like, like, that, like, those were good times, yeah, bro. Those were know, good times. Like, like, I had a community. I had my squad. Not, not, we, could, we could get a Destiny 2. Go. Destiny 2 was just like a bummer. You know, I feel like Activision kind of pushed them to release a, a second one. I think that what we see in Destiny 2 was supposed to be a DLC. And they told him, no, we want you to make another one so we can sell more. No. It was just it's just stupid. They killed that franchise and that franchise had so much. But look, now look, look, like look, and they never explained the story. But now the fuck is a story. Now they're trying to bring it back. Yeah, bro. look, it's free to play. You don't have to spend any more money. Where's the future? Where's Ch- that future bitch? Check it, Ch- check Ch- it out. <laughs> check it out. See see if you like it. It's all new now. I have the game, it's just sits there. I I literally have the game. I don't know, man. I'm willing to jump in, bro. Uh, where is the future bitch? She, been, she showed him. She showed him one like out of nowhere, and then she doesn't show up on two. Big, big announcement. Big announcement. Oh yeah. So big announcement. Uh, I got a switch. Uh, <laughs> I only. Uh, we'll we'll talk that about in a final punch. But uh, yeah, I got a switch. Uh, I got Chrono. Uh, uh, Chrono. No. I got Octopath. Chrono Trigger. Yes. I got Octopath. Oh, Octo Pass. And I'm going to get Super I Metroid. Need, I'm trying to buy Octo too. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, I move from there. But I'm trying to find Chrono Trigger, but it's a, I guess it's for only PC. So hopefully they release it for the Switch. I know there's talks in releasing it for the Switch. So I know it's there. But I, I'll probably buy Legend of Zelda's. But let's go ahead and get to our final points. No, wanna, no, no. I okay. want to rent. I want to rent. I haven't really been playing anything this past week. That. Except Resident I, Evil on the Switch. I know. I, I, classic, baby. a bunch baby. of new games. Classic. And my ass went ahead and just started with a, a fucking GameCube remake, and it is—it's been fun. 
I, I can't. I, yeah, I, 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 having I, it like on the go just feels so like cool. I have a so Google TV and like my dogs chewed my controller. So, so you have no controller. I have no controller, so I can't even go to input and change anything. So it fucking sucks ass. Sounds and like that controller's one hundred eighty nine dollars. Coke kiss your kitten. Sounds <laughs> like fun. All right, we're gonna go to our final punches. Uh, this is the segment of the show where we talk, we speak what's on our minds. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna start it off with jerks. Jerks, you got a final punch? Mm, no. All right. So. Uh, my final punch is, you know what, man. It's pretty messed up that these American companies are backing up their Chinese counterparts. Bro, you're literally sucking their balls on your knees, gargling that shit, fucking spitting, all that shit. You don't mess with the bag. Leave, yeah. Lost my respect. Blizzard, I'm never buying any of your shit. NBA, fuck you too. Overwatch is coming to uh, to Switch soon. Well, the, the what? I'm sorry. Overwatch is coming. Yeah, and not getting yeah. it. Yeah, not. <laughs> well, for me, I am very angry and disappointed in GameStop. Uh, I went to GameStop today. These motherfuckers had a Switch, a Nintendo Switch used, banged up for two hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Two hundred sixty plus tax. Two hundred seventy five. Look about two eighty. Twenty five dollar discount from a from a new one. from a new one. You're That's welcome. how fucking pathetic GameStop is. Not You're only welcome. that, I asked for Octopath used. Fifty four ninety nine. I found it for forty five dollars at Walmart. You gotta be fucking kidding me, GameStop. This is the reason why your ass is gonna fail, and in the next couple of years you're gonna be non existent because you overpriced shit. You're fucking trash. Like I hope that coworker, that, that coworker, that worker that I I met, that employee, the, that employee your fucking co-worker. horrible fucking customer service. The most horrible <laughs> customer service I've ever seen in a long. I walk in. Where are your, your, your controllers for the Switch? Well, they're right there on the wall. Like, great customer fucking service. Not even a, hey, welcome to GameStop. How can I help you? I was oh, the only motherfucker in there. The voice recording yeah, says that Yeah, the voice is at 40. Man, fuck that voice recording. <laughs> welcome to GameStop. I just want to let you know we're recording every fucking thing. I don't give a fuck. Take a picture, motherfucker. I don't give a damn. The fuck? So, fuck GameStop. Uh, I'm going to start shopping from Amazon now. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. That's been our final punches. That's been our show. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, Please like, subscribe, share. We're on YouTube. We're on uh, podcast services, Apple Podcasts. Anchor. 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 uh, uh, We're on every time. Spotify. Uh, Follow us on Facebook. Uh, Subscribe to us on YouTube. Please help us by sharing, guys. That helps. Every Anything little that you can do takes you five seconds, ten seconds. It helps us out. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Yes, sir. Tune in this Wednesday. We have our hump day show coming out. Uh, it's El, El Camino. El we'll Camino. be talking El, El Camino. Camino. El Camino. El so, Camino. So check that out, guys, for our review. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Deuces.